to learn to run logistic regression using JASP. First, we go to regression and we choose logistic regression here. And then we have this table. Imagine that we have a variable that is dichotomous with 0, 1 or 1, 2. Normally it should be coded as 0, 1. Let's say smartphone ownership 0, 1 or laptop ownership 0, 1. Let's choose a uh, laptop ownership. We can put it here as a dependent variable and then we put gender and age as independent uh, uh, predictor variables. So I'm just going to move gen age here, gender and age also here. And then we can start having this model. This is the null model and this is the alternative model H1 hypothesis. So we have the model, we have the deviance, we have the E, I, C, the B, I, C, the degrees of freedom, the chi-square and the p-value here is not statistically significant since it is above 0 0.05. The McFadden's R square is 0 0.025 and the Nigel, uh, the Nigel Kirke R square is 0 0.03. So the closer to one, the better. And here we have the uh, other statistics like the Jor R square and Cox and Snails R square, which is 0 0.01. So this means that the laptop ownership is not predicted to a large extent by gender and age, meaning that there could be other predictors that are more important than gender and age that will determine whether a person has or does not have a laptop. So the coefficients, you could see here, the estimates are negative. So this is like the odds ratio that is negative, meaning that the predictors have negative influence on the uh, dependent or outcome variable. If it is positive, it is the reverse. And here the p-value is not statistically significant, meaning that the gender and age are not statistically significant predictors of um, laptop ownership. So this is the model and the statistics are as follows. You could choose other statistics like F measures, Briar score, H measures, etc. Depending on the um, complexity of the model and complexity of the analysis. So these are like all uh, statistics that can be allowed by uh, logistic regression on JASP. Depending on the uh, variables, if this variable is an ordinal Likert scale variable, the logistic regression will be ordinal logistic regression. If it is binary variable coded as dummy variable 0 and 1, it's binary logistic regression, etc. So it's the, the level of, me of measurement of each variable that determines the type of logistic regression that can be run. So I have this table that explains the different uh, statistics related to logistic regressions like the odds ratio and how they can be uh, interpreted here, the confidence intervals, the pseudo R squared, the McFadden's R squared, likelihood ratio test, Hosmer and Lemshaw's test, the archaic information criteria, the uh, criterion, the Bayesian information criterion, the area under the curve or AUC uh, rock curve. So this is like the uh, measure that is used to see whether the model can discriminate between positive and negative cases and here are the thresholds, the confusion matrix as well, and sensitivity, recall, specificity, especially for medical studies and LR statistics to test the overall fate of the logistic regression model. So this is in brief how we can run logistic regression and what logistic regression to uh, run, whether a binary logistic regression, multinomial logistic regression, or ordinal logistic regression, depending on the measurement levels of the variables, especially the dependent variables. If you have questions or remarks, do not hesitate to post them below and see you soon. Bye for now.